Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some early footage featuring the new Community Day Frenzy Plant Chestnut in the Master Premier Cup. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, Chestnut previously had access to Energy Ball, and Frenzy Plant is a strict upgrade, dealing more damage while costing less energy, and honestly, makes it a threat in the Master Premier Cup. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Frenzy Plant Chestnut in action in the Master Premier Cup. Hopping to the first match leading into the Metagross Mirror, this can often be a bit of a tricky mirror match as it can end up being very bait dependent, farming up quite a bit of energy here, and going for the Meteor Mash bait on the CMP tie. This Metagross is best buddy, so it is going to be winning CMP over the opponents, and the bait is able to grab a shield. Tough decision, commits the shield, and the opponent full sends the Earthquake, so that is a massive shield. Continuing to farm up here, going straight for the Earthquake, and the opponent makes an incredible catch, catching the Earthquake onto Gyarados. It is a Waterfall Gyarados, and it's going to be met with Chestnut. Now, Chestnut, as I mentioned, is a lot more deadly now that it has access to Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant is a cheaper option than Energy Ball, and on top of that, Frenzy Plant hits harder as well. Chestnut able to farm up a ton of energy and fire off the Frenzy Plant. This will easily KO, and now Chestnut leads with a nice amount of energy to threaten the Metagross. We'll have to see, does the opponent send in the Metagross? They do not. They're going to send in Dragonite. This is a very tough matchup for Chestnut. Chestnut is going to start firing off superpowers, hoping to try and burn the switch clock and preserve the Chestnut for later in the match. Superpower number two is going to land, and now the switch clock is up, going to send in Dragonite. Dragonite is going to be met with a Dragon Claw, and now can the opponent reach another charge move? They don't want to let themselves get farmed down, and they're going to send in their Metagross. Metagross is going to be met with the Superpower. Superpower connects and gets the opponent very low. And now things are honestly looking pretty good here. You see, opponent's Dragonite is going to have to get to two moves if they want to win this game. And that's not looking particularly likely. Commits the shield. It's the Earthquake. And now Metagross should just be able to farm down as Dragonite is not able to reach two moves. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Metagross into Swampert, absolute nightmare lead. We're going to see a save switch into Dragonite. Swampert is going to farm up some energy, and then they're going to respond with their own Metagross. Bit of an uncomfortable matchup here for Dragonite, but Dragonite can hit back hard with Super Power. Meteor Mash is going to land. Dragonite farms up a ton of energy, very close to the back-to-back -back Super Powers. Firing off the first, it gets a shield and will be able to reach Super Power number two. So able to grab an early shield advantage and deal some nice damage to the Metagross as well. Metagross is able to get the farm down, and now you kind of just have to bring back in your own Metagross, and then hope that Chestnut is going to be able to put in work in the end game. Metagross is going to look to shield and potentially commit to the farm down. It's the Earthquake. Opponent gives up switch, and in comes Chestnut. I believe this may be enough for a Sludge Wave. We'll have to see if they have it. Respects it, but it's just a Hydro Cannon. So it looks like the opponent is not running Sludge Wave, which means Chestnut can honestly commit to the farm down here. Chestnut, these Vine Whips absolutely tearing through this Swampert. Swampert is going to be able to reach one final Hydro Cannon, but Chestnut doesn't mind that at all. Able to farm down, leave with 100 energy to threaten whatever the opponent brings in, and the opponent is going to send in their Metagross. Metagross hit with a superpower in the back. They have Snorlax, and it's a Shadow Snorlax at that. Immediate switch into Metagross. This will be able to reset the debuff on Chestnut. Chestnut, and now things are looking very favorable here. Metagross able to reach Meteor Mash number two. This will be grabbing the shield from the Snorlax, and that means Chestnut will be able to finish this fight. Snorlax is going to fire off a charge move. Snorlax goes for the body slam. It's not enough to KO. Snorlax gets the farm down, but Chestnut has the energy loaded. Chestnut, superpower, taking out the Snorlax and securing the win. Dream lead in the next match, Metagross into Togekiss, you love to see it. Opponent will immediately save switch into Dragonite, and this is a bit of an awkward save switch here, as this team doesn't have a strong check to Dragonite in the back. Going to stay in with Metagross to start, fire off the Meteor Mash, and continue to farm. Dragonite does have two charge moves loaded, this is going to be tough. Commits the shield, it's a Dragon Claw bait, switches into their own Dragonite to catch what could potentially be a superpower, and it is... What a catch. 
and now we'll be able to farm all the way down. The opponent stopped attacking because they wanted their Togekiss to get maximum farm. However, this superpower is going to prevent Togekiss from getting as much farm, as now Dragonite's defense has been lowered. Dragonite is going to get charmed down, and now we are going to see the Switch Clock waited out because the Switch Timers were pretty misaligned. In comes Metagross. Metagross will be met with Snorlax, and unfortunately, Timer is still not yet up. Going to fire off the Meteor Mash. That's going to land, and now it is Chestnut time. Chestnut farming up, and Snorlax is going to start firing off its energy. They go for the first Body Slam. Chestnut tanking that like it's nothing. Chestnut continuing to farm. Snorlax going for Body Slam number two. That's going to land. Chestnut starting to get low, and now going to fire off the superpower. Wanting to minimize the amount of farm this Togekiss is going to get, but will still be able to make it to the Frenzy Plant. Even when debuffed, this Frenzy Plant is going to do a solid chunk of damage onto the Togekiss. Togekiss gets the farm down and now the question is, can Metagross farm down Togekiss before Togekiss gets the charm down? This is going to be close. Charm versus Bullet Punch. Metagross gets the farm down and that is a good game. Moving into the next match, picking up a positive lead, Metagross into Dragonite. Very nice. Opponent is going to save switch into Excadrill and in comes Chestnut. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Hopping into the next match as we lead into yet another Metagross Mirror. Same game plan as before, gonna stay in this matchup to start and hopefully avoid a potential catch. Farming up, going for the Meteor Mash bait, hoping the opponent is going to commit the shield and they do, that is a big call. Decision time, going to commit the shield in return. Opponent is going to bait as well. So opponent is going to be at even energy. Farming up, going for the Earthquake, and we see another Earthquake catch onto Gyarados. That is very unfortunate. This is a Shadow Gyarados this time, and Gyarados is definitely not going to appreciate Chestnut. Chestnut is going for the Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant from this range is lethal, and down goes Shadow Gyarados. And now we'll have to see what the opponent decides to do. They're going to send in Metagross. Metagross did have loaded energy, and they're going to fire off this Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash is going to KO, and down goes Chestnut. But now you can send back in the Metagross. But the unfortunate thing is the opponent did overfarm, so the opponent is at an energy lead here. Going to fire off a charge move, lets it through. It's the Earthquake, and now putting full faith into Dragonite to try and close this game. Dragonite is going to be met with the Meteor Mash. Dragonite is going to commit the shield. Have to hope whatever's in back is weak to Dragon, and it's a Garchomp. This is going to be close. Is Garchomp going to be able to make it to an Outrage before Dragonite is able to KO? Dragonite going for the farm down, not quite able to get there. Fires off the Dragon Claw. That gets shielded. It's a CMP tie. Outrage will be taking care of the Dragonite, and that is game over. Bit of a tricky lead in the next match, Metagross into Machamp. Neutral damage on both sides, but Machamp is able to significantly outpace in this matchup. Machamp looking to overfarm and plays into the CMP tie. Metagross able to win CMP, firing off the Meteor Mash, and grabbing an early shield from the Machamp. Metagross decides the mirror shields at the last second, shielding up the cross chop. Metagross farms up, safe switches into Chestnut, and is able to bait out the Sylveon. It's good to bait out the Sylveon, so that way, drag Dragonite is not going to have to face it in the end game, and let's see Frenzy Plank go to work. That does a lot of damage onto Sylveon, and able to reach a second Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant, being cheaper than the previous move of Energy Ball, comes in clutch as Chestnut is able to force a shield from the Charmer. And now you can just send in Metagross. You don't have to shield a thing. You can farm all the way down and leave with a ton of energy to threaten whatever the opponent has in the back. Metagross able to leave with an Earthquake loaded, looking to switch into the Dragon. Dragonite, and the opponent goes for the cross chop, but it's caught onto the Dragonite. Very, very nice catch. But Champ is going to stay in here, looking to try and force the final shield from the Dragonite. Dragonite is at the last second going to give up the final shield. In the back, the opponent has Metagross, and they're in a very tough spot here, as even if they exit this matchup with energy, they're going to lose CMP to the best buddy Metagross waiting for it. Looks like the opponent is trying to go for a farm down, and that's just not going to save them. Super Superpower number two is going to get rid of the Metagross. Down goes Machamp, and that is a good game. 
Nightmare lead in the next match, Metagross into Chandelure. This team is ABA weak to Chandelure. We are going to see a pivot into Dragonite, and Dragonite is immediately met with Togekiss. Things going from bad to worse. Dragonite will fire off the superpower, just trying to take as few charms as possible. Dragonite does get farmed down, and now it's Metagross' turn to farm down the Togekiss. Metagross will have to commit a shield, as Togekiss, of course, does have access to Flamethrower. So we are going to see Metagross commit a shield here and look to commit to an aggressive farm down. Metagross will be able to leave with a massive amount of energy to potentially threaten the Chandelure. Opponent is going to send in the Chandelure and going to fire off the Meteor Mash here. Meteor Mash is resisted, but is able to grab the shield, and now going for Meteor Mash number two. Two. This is resisted, would do a lot of damage. Opponent is going to commit the shield. They have a lot of energy on the Chandelure. Opponent is going to bank the energy on Chandelure and send in Snorlax. Snorlax will be met with the Meteor Mash. That's going to land. And now in comes Chestnut. Chestnut farming up a lot of energy. And Snorlax is going to start firing off charge moves. Snorlax goes for the Body Slam. That's going to land. Chestnut continuing to farm. Snorlax reaches Body Slam number two. This is going to land safe the shield as unfortunately that chandelure has a lot of energy loaded chestnut firing off the frenzy plant that's gonna ko goes for the move but loses cmp to the chandelure chandelure is one incinerate off their next flame charge firing off this frenzy plant let's see how much resistant damage this does it does a lot farming up switch and a beautiful catch onto metagross Oh my goodness, can Chestnut clutch this? Chestnut going for the superpower and dies with the move. Moving into the next match, leading Metagross into Gyarados. Definitely not a good situation to be in, so we are going to see an immediate save switch into Chestnut. Chestnut is going to resist Gyarados' standard charge moveset, and Gyarados is actually going to fire off a move. That works out fine. They go for the crunch. They do not get a debuff, and they send in Mammal Swine. Now, Chestnut does have access to Frenzy Plant, but in this situation, you just start spamming out superpowers. Superpower number one, able to grab a shield, reaches superpower number two, this is going to grab both shields from the Mammal Swine and reach a last second third superpower. Chestnut putting in a lot of work, getting Mammal Swine deep into the red and getting both shields. In comes Metagross. Metagross would definitely not appreciate high horsepower. Metagross commits the shield, gets baited with an avalanche, but the opponent is not able to get to high horsepower. Back in comes Gyarados. Gyarados is going to be met with the Meteor Mash. This is resisted, but will do a solid chunk of damage. And now in comes Dragon. Dragonite, it's Shadow Snorlax in the back, and the opponent concedes the match. Hopping into the final match, leading Metagross into Togekiss, another dream lead. Opponent is going to save switch into Waterfall Gyarados, which gets absolutely crushed by Chestnut. Chestnut is going to fire off the Frenzy Plant. Frenzy Plant is going to be able to land, getting the Gyarados incredibly low. Unless this Gyarados is running Outrage, they are fully walled here. They do go for the Outrage, and that's able to land. Chestnut going to farm up and fire off another Frenzy Plant. This Frenzy Plant will easily KO opponent commits the shield chestnut able to hang on and reach the last second superpower able to grab switch advantage and shield advantage from the Gyarados in the back there is Exca and Exca is going to have a bad day going up against a shield advantage Dragonite opponent farms up a lot of energy they're going to start launching rock slides at the Dragonite letting the first move through continuing to farm up they're going to go for rock slide number two and we are going to see the first shield used by the Dragonite Dragonite will be able to over farm here slightly and now fire off the superpower going for the kill shot superpower gets the shield opponent sends in togekiss and now this is going to be game over metagross will be able to finish this game metagross can very safely farm up a ton of energy fire off the meteor mash meteor mash is going to ko and then will be able to reach meteor mash number two into the exca meteor mash takes out the exca and that is a good game. All in all, Frenzy Plant is a nice addition to Chestnut's moveset. It is strictly better than its previous move of Energy Ball and allows it to hit a lot harder in matchups, which is quite nice. In the Massive Premier Cup, it does prove to be a nice anti-meta pick. However, in terms of its viability in the Great League and Ultra League, I do think it will struggle, mainly due to the fact that Wing Attack users are absolutely everywhere. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.